Hello, I'm Dr. Wendy Osborne from the Freeman Hospital in Newcastle upon Tyne. And I want to tell you about the updated data from the Alexander study. This is a study using a bisystronic car um, against CD19 and 22 in combination with a PD1 inhibitor. And the data are very encouraging, both in terms of safety and uh, in preliminary efficacy data. We know that roughly about a third of patients obtain a sustained response with the currently available uh, CD19 cars, which is an unmet need for those who go on and progress. And the possible mechanisms for this are either CD19 escape or due to CAR T exhaustion. And Auto3 is, has been designed to try and overcome both of these um, mechanisms. Firstly, um, by having a, a biosystronic calf targeting both 19 and 22, trying to prevent CD19 escape. And also, uh, there have been data showing that PD1 expression is upregulated in activated CAR Ts. And therefore, by introducing pembrolizumab to the conditioning regime, it may uh, reduce CAR T exhaustion. So uh, this study it was a phase one, phase two study, and primarily looking at safety and then some provisional efficacy. And I think the important points are that it appears to be a very safe, tolerable product. Most of the AEs being hematological and reversible. And also uh, that there was no severe CRS in the 23 patients dosed and only one neurotoxicity event and no neurotoxicity in the 150 million to 450 million dose. So a really safe product, so much so that the future enrollment will be looking at giving this in an outpatient basis. Now, obviously, still small numbers, only 23 patients have been dosed, but the efficacy data look really encouraging, uh, particularly if we look at the recommended phase two dose um, using moving forward at the 150 to 450 dose range with day minus one pembrolizumab. Uh, in the, I think, eight patients dosed within this, we had a response rate of, a complete response rate of 63%. Uh, for all patients dosed, the complete response rates were 48%. So very early in terms of efficacy, but really encouraging and certainly a safe product, uh, which we will now be taking forward in the outpatient phase setting. Thank you.